In a rapidly evolving security landscape, defined by heightened demands for mobility, resilience, and interoperability, Sweden has prioritized the modernization of its military engineering capabilities to ensure tactical flexibility across its water-rich terrain. The Improved Ribbon Bridge Systems Agreement, with the latest contract signed on April 23, 2025, between the Swedish Defense Material Administration and General Dynamics European Land Systems, Bridge Systems, represents a critical component of this strategy. Sweden's investment in the IRB system is driven by the need to maintain operational momentum in a geography characterized by thousands of rivers, lakes, and wetlands, where fixed infrastructure is often sparse or vulnerable. The IRB, a modular pontoon bridge system, enables rapid wet gap crossings for heavy military vehicles, ensuring tactical mobility in both national and multinational operations. This capability has become increasingly vital since Sweden's formal accession to NATO in 2024, which necessitates interoperable equipment to support collective defense. The IRB aligns with Sweden's broader defense modernization efforts, initiated in 2015, to upgrade legacy systems like the floating support bridge and complement the M3 amphibious bridge system. The system's combat-proven design, used by NATO allies such as the United States, Germany, and Australia, underscores its reliability in high-tempo operations, including Iraq and NATO's Anaconda 2016 exercise in Poland. The 2025 contract builds on a decade-long commitment to enhancing Sweden's engineering core, reflecting a strategic response to the evolving operational requirements of Northern Europe's security environment. The IRB's development coincides with Sweden's shift toward greater integration into NATO's command structures and force generation frameworks. As a new NATO member, Sweden faces pressure to contribute to alliance-wide mobility operations, particularly in defensive scenarios along NATO's eastern flank. The IRB's interoperability with systems like the Standard Ribbon Bridge and M3 combined with its adaptability to Arctic conditions, positions Sweden to meet these demands effectively. Moreover, the system's ability to support peacekeeping and disaster relief missions enhances its utility beyond traditional warfare, aligning with Sweden's multifaceted defense objectives. This context underscores the IRB agreement as a pragmatic investment in scalable, deployable capabilities that address both national and coalition priorities. The Swedish IRB agreement encompasses a series of contracts with GBS, with the most recent announced on April 23, 2025, for additional IRB systems. While specific quantities and financial details for the 2025 contract remain undisclosed, historical agreements provide insight into the program's scope. In 2015, FMV procured an initial IRB batch for winter trials to assess interoperability with existing assets like the FSB and M3 systems. A subsequent 2018 contract, informed by successful trials, initiated production and delivery of IRBs, with first systems delivered in 2020 to replace parts of the legacy FSB. In 2022, a contract valued at approximately 400 million Swedish kroner, about $39.2 million, included additional IRB bays and up to 25 M3 systems, scheduled for delivery between 2025 and 2027. The 2025 contract further expands Sweden's IRB inventory, reinforcing its wet gap crossing capabilities. The IRB system is designed for versatility, supporting payloads up to military load classification 80 for tracked vehicles, like Leopard 2A7 and M1A2 Abrams, and MLC-96 for wheeled platforms. It can be configured as a floating bridge or multi-bay ferry, with coupling adapters enabling integration with the M3 system for bridges of nearly unlimited length. The IRB's compatibility with multiple transport modes, including military trucks, railway flatbeds, and CH-47 Chinook helicopters, enhances its tactical deployability its reduced maintenance requirements and suitability for long-term storage contribute to cost efficiency, making it a practical choice for Sweden's defense needs. 
These technical specifications, combined with the system's NATO standard design, ensure seamless cooperation with Allied forces, a critical factor in Sweden's procurement decisions. The delivery and implementation of IRB systems have progressed steadily since 2015, with each contract building on prior successes. The initial batch, delivered in November 2015, underwent rigorous Arctic trials to confirm compatibility with Sweden's existing trucks, bridge erection boats, and M3 systems. Deliveries from the 2018 contract commenced in 2020, integrating IRBs into the Swedish Army's Engineering Corps. The 2022 contract expanded the inventory with additional IRB bays, while M3 deliveries began in November 2024, with 12 units planned and options for more through 2027. The 2025 contract will further augment Sweden's IRB stockpile, though specific delivery timelines are not publicly available. Implementation focuses on rapid deployment and operational readiness. A 100-meter IRB bridge can be constructed in approximately 30 minutes, while an M3 bridge requires just 10 minutes, enabling high-tempo operations. The systems are designed for Arctic conditions, with the M3 requiring only a two-person crew due to automation, enhancing efficiency. Trials have validated the IRB's interoperability with NATO allies, as demonstrated in multinational exercises. The Swedish Engineering Corps has integrated these systems into brigade-level operations, ensuring that combat units can maintain mobility across water obstacles without reliance on fixed infrastructure. This implementation strategy reflects Sweden's emphasis on autonomy, speed, and coalition compatibility in contested environments. The IRB system serves a multifaceted role in Sweden's defense strategy, addressing both national and multinational objectives. Tactically, it enables rapid wet gap crossings of up to 400 meters with M3 integration, supporting heavy vehicles, and ensuring maneuverability across Sweden's water-rich terrain. This capability is critical for projecting combat power, avoiding choke points, and maintaining operational momentum in infrastructure-poor environments. Strategically, the IRB aligns with Sweden's NATO commitments by standardizing equipment with allies, facilitating joint operations with countries like Germany, the Netherlands, the United Kingdom, and the United States. Its interoperability with legacy systems and the M3 enhances flexibility, allowing Swedish forces to operate seamlessly in coalition environments, as evidenced by its use in NATO's Anaconda 2016 exercise and U.S. operations in Iraq. Beyond warfare, the IRB supports peacekeeping and disaster relief missions, where rapid bridge deployment can restore logistics chains or aid civilian populations. Its modularity allows units to deploy, recover, and redeploy bridge segments quickly, maintaining operational tempo. The system's Arctic adaptation ensures reliability in Sweden's harsh winter conditions, while its reduced maintenance and storage requirements enhance long-term readiness. By reinforcing the engineering core, the IRB strengthens Sweden's capacity for autonomous wet gap crossings, reducing dependence on external support. Collectively, these roles position the IRB as a cornerstone of Sweden's maneuver warfare strategy, enabling speed, flexibility, and resilience in Northern Europe and beyond.